All right, uh, we are going to make our first measurement here on our key site. Um, let me show you how you can make an oscilloscope measurement. So it's not an easy process on these types of oscilloscopes. You have to supply an external trigger. It does not have internal triggering, which means it can't trigger off, off the source. All right, so that's usually because the measurements you're making are very, very fast and you need a very, very stable trigger. Very, very low phase error in your trigger system. So generally those triggers are developed either on the circuit or in a clock recovery box or something like that. Well, guess what? We don't have one. What I want to measure today is this little box down here. This is the Leo uh, Badnar uh, pulse generator that I've shown many times on the channel now. And um, so it's being powered up uh, USB and in fact it's using the USB on, on the scope here. So it's being powered up and it's generating uh, fast edges. Okay? And we want to measure those. So we take the uh, device and we're going to run into a splitter. So this is a splitter right here. Now, you have to use a very, very uh, high frequency splitter. So this splitter, I think, is good to, I don't know what it's good to, my friend gave it to me, um, but it's very, very fast. And uh, it uses a resistive split, so it's resistor, so it's good all the way to DC. And that's the kind of splitter that you need, very, very fast. and. Um, uh, one that is DC DC accurate. This one, this uh, splitter was made by the uh, Pico Second uh, company, Pico Second Pulse Labs, in Boulder, Colorado. They make pulse measurement stuff too. Anyway, that's where this came from. So I've got the uh, splitter. So now we have two signals. Uh, one of the signals is going to come onto this cable and is going to go into this port here, which is the trigger port. So half of the signal goes over into the trigger and then half of the signal goes into channel one. All right, that's the, that's the way we're gonna generate our own trigger. We're gonna split it off. It's not ideal, but it's gonna work. We're gonna split that off, and uh, now we'll have a trigger and data. All right, and uh, so now that we have that going, uh, let's see, I think we're good to go. Um, I have the... Uh, uh, box hooked up with uh, DVI uh, uh, digital video output and it's going into a screen capture video capture so let me move over to that now okay so we see a bunch of stuff happening here let me clear the display and there we go there is our edge all right so let me back up okay I'm gonna back way way up Okay, so here is our square wave that the, uh, the Leo is, is outputting. And then if we zoom in on that rising edge, uh, we'll need, we need to recenter it. Uh, and we'll keep zooming in on it, keep recentering. And uh, there we go. And uh, let me back out a little bit here. All right. I do have averaging on to make everything look a little nicer. I've got averaging of 16 on. Um, but uh, you can see there that it does make a nice rise. It does wiggle a little bit on the, on the, uh, uh, after, it does its, uh, after it does its rise. It's got a little bit of wiggle on it, not much. And uh, we can set up some automatic measurements. So I have those set up here. Uh, and the bigger, the bigger the thing and the wider the thing, it's going to give us better data. I'll do a clear display. And now we can take a look at the uh, rise time there at the bottom. We're getting about 22 picoseconds, 22.6 picoseconds. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And I think that correlates to the measurements uh, that were made previously on a different box. Uh, but yeah, now I'm able to make my own. I've turned on false color to make it look pretty. And uh, you can also do a jitter measurement here. We've got pe one picosecond. Uh, the mean is 914 femtoseconds. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, so this box can do a lot. So how far can you zoom in? Well, currently, let's see, where do you read it? At, way, way down at the bottom. Let's see, can I, let me see if I can, yeah, can you see my, yeah, you can see my mouse. Here's my mouse here in the middle. So down at the very, very bottom, there's time base. So right now we're at 10 picoseconds per division, okay? Let's zoom in a little more. Five picoseconds, two picoseconds, one picosecond, 500 femtoseconds, 200, 100 femtoseconds. 100 femtoseconds is, is, max, <laughs> is max resolution. 100 femtoseconds, <laughs> pretty cool. Oh man, this box is gonna bring me joy. <laughs> That's definitely true. It will bring me joy. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see here. I think we can lower all of the measurements here, and uh, we can turn off. Um, make a nice big picture. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs>